Good morning guys, welcome back. So I'm here outside the hospital, it's bright and early and I'm going to go in to the unit very soon for my portal vein embolisation. Well, I'm not sure what time I'll be getting it at some point today. And I am feeling a little bit nervous about it. And I'm sure it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable but also, you know, it's quite a big trust exercise allowing someone who I've actually never met before to do quite a big drastic change to my body and a big structural change to my liver which is quite nerve-wracking but there's no backing out now got to get on with it just another obstacle to get over but anyway I'm gonna get inside and see what they've got in store here I am everyone's gone off for their operations so much like before I'm in a in a ward with several beds so five beds in total in this ward not quite as good a bed as my last time in the hospital unfortunately opposite the toilet so yeah not a good draw this time oh so, well at least it's only only one night Just got back guys from a little operation, it took about an hour and a half. It's quite uncomfortable. <laughs> so they went in with a, with a needle uh, in the side, through my ribs, into the liver, and then found the portal vein and and blocked it up that way. Um, but yeah, you could, you could feel it and it kind of caused tension across the diaphragm and, and up into the shoulder and stuff, which was yeah, an interesting sensation. But I wasn't I wasn't very shy about asking for some pain relief, so that took the edge off it. But the good news is they're gonna monitor me for the next four hours and if everything's okay they'll let me go home tonight. So yeah, hopefully we can get home and relax, relax there. Anyway, I'm allowed to eat straight away this time, which is great, so I've got chicken mayo sandwich and some squash. So yeah, gonna have some of that now. Six out of ten. They're letting me go home so I don't have to stay the night. I'm out of here. So it's now Friday, so it's approximately 48 hours since my portal vein embolization, and I've spent most of my time either upstairs in bed or laying here on the sofa watching watching films, um, which has been been fine. You know that first that first evening and night was quite uncomfortable, um, although I was very very pleased to be home and not have to spend a night in hospital, especially as as I was expecting to be staying. I was told it was almost certain that I would be, so to get home was was a real bonus. But yeah, I found it very difficult to sleep. I had to sleep on my back and I couldn't sleep on my sides due to sort of discomfort. And I'm not very good at sleeping on my back. So yeah, that wasn't great. But I woke up in the morning and felt a bit like I had the flu, I suppose. And I was warned that that was a likely, likely symptom. So I just felt very, very achy all over. Hence why I just did nothing and just laid on the sofa all day. Um, but that feeling has gradually got gotten better. I had a better sleep last night, which is good. And I've woken up this morning, still feeling a bit groggy um, and a bit of a headache, which I guess is no surprise. Um, you know, I do feel like I've got a bit of a bit of a hangover, and you know, half of my liver now isn't getting a blood flow. So yeah, that, it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? But to go over the actual portal vein embolization, so they did tell me that they were they were pleased with the results, which is good. And um, so what they did was they fed a, a needle through my ribs and then a catheter into my liver. And then they blocked up, they found the portal vein and blocked up the right side of my portal vein. So the blood flow to the right side of my liver, which is the side that's going to be getting removed. Now, I don't consider myself to be a control freak in any way, but I've definitely learned about myself that I do want to, I do really like to know what's going on with my body. And there was two doctors doing this portal vein embolization and I could sense there was a, um, a bit of sort of panic panic's probably a bit of a strong word they, they were they were struggling a little bit um to locate the portal vein i was trying to listen carefully to to what they were saying they were having quite a quiet conversation and i was desperate to be 
part of that conversation, but I knew my input wasn't going to be helpful in that situation. They were concentrating quite hard, but yeah, they were struggling to find the portal vein. I was getting a little bit, a little bit worried. Um, but what they had to do is pull the catheter out and and go again from a different angle. So you'll notice in the pictures that I do have two puncture wounds. Um, whether that means I kind of had two portal vein embolizations, yeah, maybe, maybe I could claim that. Um, but yeah, they got there in the end, and as I say, they were they were happy happy with the results, which is which is the main thing. So I'll get onto the news about the plans with regards to my liver resection in a moment. I just wanted to take a second in case anyone sort of stumbled across this video because they're searching about portal vein embolizations. Maybe they've maybe they've got one coming up soon, or they've got a loved one having one soon. And I just wanted to kind of reassure those people that in terms of operations, this wasn't a horrendous experience. So my day was quite long, so I had to get there nice and early. So I was there before seven in the morning and I didn't leave till half past eight. But, you know, as I've already alluded to, I got home that same day, which was great. Um, you were awake the whole time or I was awake the whole time. I had some sedation uh, and some painkillers. And yes, I'm not going to lie, it is a bit of an uncomfortable experience, but it's an hour and a half and that hour and a half just flies by. But no, in, in all seriousness, you know, it is manageable. Yes, it's not comfortable, but, you know, it's it's definitely manageable. And in terms of the recovery, yeah, the last 48 hours haven't been the nicest 48 hours. I felt, as I say, I said that I had that sort of fluey, achy feeling and a headache, but I've been able to manage it. And just as long as I'm relaxing and not moving around too much, I felt, felt okay, really. And as I say, 48 hours later, not back to my normal self, but I'm feeling, feeling a lot better. So, yeah, I just wanted to reassure anyone that might be watching this video. But yeah, so now onto the, the liver resection. So that should be happening in approximately four weeks time. So that it might happen a week before that or a couple of weeks after that. Uh, I'm not sure. We don't have any definite dates in the diary yet or anything like that. But the only thing I know for certain is that it'll be a Friday. So maybe Friday the 23rd, I think, is the, the date that I'm hoping for. That's four weeks from now. But yeah, we'll see. And obviously I'll keep you guys informed on that. But yeah, just really happy that I've got over this next hurdle and yeah we're we're now um just aiming to get back to as um, full of strength as possible before the next operation and then get that operation done and, and then just knuckle down on recovery anyway thanks again for following along hit the like button if you like the video subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you in another video i think i might watch another film yeah why not any suggestions put in the comments below all right See you later. Bye.